Hello, welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 1, Introduction to HTML5, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the features of HTML5. So, what's new in HTML5? It has brought in the wonderful features like the structure elements and attributes, the media elements, the form types, 2D and 3D graphics and animation with the JavaScript and the geolocation with the javascript and finally the feature called local storage so in this session we are going to just see the description of these features and in the coming sessions we'll be doing on the hands on related to these features so right now let me explain you the first feature that is structural elements and attributes so here you can observe the html version 4.0.1 okay uh, here you have something like the doc type html public so apart from this you can see the first version xhtml that is the first version okay and the html5 okay uh, it's having the doc type html so why do we need a doc type doc type specifies like what version of html you're using in your web page so that is the reason we have to specify the doc type in our html page and can observe here in these early in these versions your the specification of doc file document type okay it's pretty long but in HTML5 it's pretty small you have to just specify this uh, the tag doc type okay and keep in mind and we can still use the HTML5 doc type when we use XHTML markup and it will validate okay so uh, this is about the doc type which is new into HTML5 okay it's a new feature in HTML5 this doc type HTML it specifies like what version of HTML you're using in your web page so it's very important to specify this okay and coming to the next feature it is new elements and semantic structure keep in mind till now we make use of due tags for describing certain elements but HTML5 offers much more semantic markup okay uh, semantic tags which gives you a complete meaning for example header photo section aside main and article these are the new elements which have been added in HTML5 okay and coming to the next feature okay form elements and types HTML5 give us a bunch of new form types to work with so we have an input element and we have a type attribute there so type attribute takes the values like text radio checkbox submit a button but HTML5 has given us a new bunch of form types to work with they are email date range search date time telephone color time number URL week and month okay and even and even here some of them does the validation so uh, if these types does the validation then we don't need to write the JavaScript to do the form validation okay and these are the new features which are bought in HTML5 that is form elements and types okay apart from that we have something called media elements in the past we need to use the third-party plugins like Adobe flash to able to display the videos in an HTML document okay now we can embed our videos with the help of video tag which is newly introduced in HTML5 similarly if I if I wish to include a audio file in my HTML page then I can achieve that with the help of audio tag so these are the new elements which are present that they are the media elements so there are two new media elements they are video and audio elements okay and this avoids the usage of third-party plugins like Adobe flash player okay and this is the new feature again the geolocation so if you want to get the browsers or the users current location then we can make use of the geolocation okay API which is present in HTML5 and it's a new feature so if you need to get the position of the current website viewer okay, then I need to make use of this geolocation feature of HTML5 and this returns you uh, the values of longitude and latitude okay which gives you the current position of the user website viewer okay uh, and the ma the main API we use to get the geolocation or the current position of the viewer is get current position okay this returns you the position current position of the web viewer okay and coming to graphics suppose if I need to draw something on my web page or if I need to animate something on the web page then I can achieve that with the help of two, le two newly introduced elements they are canvas and SVG okay both does canvas we used we can draw the things on the HTML page with the help of canvas and SVG it can be used to define the vector based graphics in the XML format okay these two things define the adding called graphics in the HTML5 feature 
and this is very important the HTML5 storage so we have three type of storage here local storage session and web storage so what do you mean by local storage the local storage API it allows to store the local key value pairs on a user's machine until they manually delete them okay if I need to store some of the user data on the browser or on the system user machine okay then I can do that with the help of this local storage feature of HTML5 okay and coming to the session storage the session storage API does the same as local storage except keep in mind except the data is deleted when the session ends I mean when uh, when the browser is closed okay the data will be deleted that's what the session storage is it will be stored for the particular session and coming to the web storage HTML5 also offers a local SQL solution to store data locally so these are the three different types of HTML5 storage new features brought in in HTML5 they are local storage, session storage and web storage so these are the wonderful features we saw till now like HTML5 storage, graphics, geolocation, media elements, form elements and the new elements and semantic type and easy way of representing the document type version okay and these are the new features which are brought in HTML5 and as I said you this session will be just describing you or telling you about the new features present in HTML5 and in the coming sessions we will be doing or working on the particular feature and we'll uh, type a bit of code and we'll execute it okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel and pro training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference of our website we are on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.